guys, so I'm here today to film a haul for you. I just received a package in the mail from Sephora, so I figured I would haul that. I also picked up two things from the drugstore that I wanted to show you, so let's do this. Um, first, let's start with the drugstore things. Um, I saw that they actually have these Zoella products in my local Real Canadian Superstore, so this is the Zoella Beauty Soak Opera Bath and Shower Cream. It's basically a bubble bath or a shower cream, but I would use it as a bubble bath, so that's what I purchased it for. Um, it was $10 for like 500 milliliters, so that's not bad, and it did smell really nice. Nice smell. So I wanted to try that out. Um, and I also picked up the new L'Oreal Voluminous Superstar Mascara. This has a primer on one end and a waterproof mascara on the other. I only wear waterproof mascara, but I also always wear an eyelash primer with it, so I thought it would be interesting to try out the drugstore version of that. So I got that. Um, watch for the prices of this. I originally saw it at Shoppers for $16.99, and then I bought it at Superstore for $8.99, so just be wary. If you live in Canada, you know that Shoppers Drug Mart is ridiculously overpriced, so I usually don't buy drugstore stuff there unless it's the only place I can find it. Then I placed an order on Sephora, and the number one reason I placed this order was to get the new Urban Decay Naked Basics palette. I don't have any of the other Naked Basics palettes, but this one just spoke to me on a spiritual level. Now, when I originally saw this packaging in videos and in real life, I was like, wow, the packaging is beautiful, but it does feel like kind of cheapy like it's a cheapy practice I kind of wanted to be like a nice metallic or like kind of like the naked two how it's like in a tin packaging but this is like cheapy plastic like whenever I saw it in videos I always thought it was gonna be like this miraculous packaging and the packaging is gorgeous but it's just not as high quality as I thought it would be like the Too Faced Swamp Family is it Too Faced no the Tarte Swamp Family palette was gorgeous packaging it this just feels cheapy like you can do better urban decay do better so this is the palette can we talk about it let's talk about it um it comes with a double-sided brush which i literally don't care about it's always like a cool idea but i honestly never use the double-sided brushes i just don't reach for them because i can't stick them in my brush holder and then i just never see them so oh i'm just throwing it so you get a smudger on one side and a little crease brush on the other side. It's a really dense crease brush. I don't know if it'll work well for the crease, but we'll try it. I find that I don't love Urban Decay's brushes in general, so I'll probably never use that. Back to the palette. So it has a nice ginormous mirror, which is good, and it has 12 matte eyeshadows. I guess I'll swatch them for you because why not? So on my hand here, We've got Blow, Nude, Commando, and Tempted. Uh, Blow is a little bit shimmery, if you can see. It's definitely not a matte, but it's definitely not like a glitter or a sparkle or anything. It's probably a satin finish compared um, as described by Urban Decay. They yeah. Then to finish off the first row, I don't know why I swatched up and then down. Don't judge me. Finish off the first row, we have Instinct and Lethal. These are some really nice cool toned colors. Uh, first color in the second row, which also looks to be a satin finish to me, is Pregame. And then we have Extra Bitter, which is a beautiful warm toned brown. Anyone out there who's loving the Morphe 350 palette will be all over that shit. And then the last four colors in the palette are he- oh wow, I swatched that really weird. You've got Faith, Lockout, Magnet, and the black at the end is called Blackjack. Uh, the black seems to be a little bit chalky. I have a feeling it's not going to be like that super black like Corrupt from Makeup Geek, but I personally never use a really deep pigmented black unless I'm doing liner for like in the crease and stuff. I don't really want a black black. I want a nice kind of gray black that's going to blend really well, so... I'm really excited about this palette. I cannot wait to use it. It literally is all the basics you need, although... One of my pans is already coming out. Hold on. 
Yeah, the glue on extra bitter is kind of loose. So that pan is going to fall out. Like it's, do you see how like it's wiggling? So I'm gonna have to deal with that. I'll probably have to take it out myself and then glue it back in. This has happened to me before with Urban Decay palettes. It's not the end of the world because it got here safely and I can probably get it out myself, but you have to be wary because if it does fall out and shatter, you're fucked. Um, so I picked up a couple other things while I was ordering. Um, I got the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. This is just my favorite under eye setting powder. I've been using the e.l.f. one recently, which I do really like. It's a great drugstore dupe, but I like this one too. I picked up the Ardency In Punker Liner. This is my holy grail liquid liner. I have never found a liquid liner that I actually love, and this is it. Mine just ran out all of a sudden, so picked up a backup. I picked up the Anastasia Liquid Lipstick in the color Sepia. I bought the Anastasia Liquid Lipstick in Sad Girl, and I actually returned it because I didn't love the color, and I found that it wasn't really like a true liquid lipstick. So I picked up sepia and like, can we talk about this color? It's fucking beautiful. I love it, but I still don't know how I feel about the formula. It's not really transfer proof. Like I just kissed my, I've had this on for about 10 minutes. It should be dry by now and it's not. Then I just have two samples. Um, I picked up the Tarte Pack Your Bags eye packs were like one of the beauty deals you put a code in for. And I used my 100 point perk for the Lanagy Multi Berry Yogurt Repairing Mask because I love using my points for masks because I live for masks. So that's a pretty decent sized mask. Pretty sweet. And my camera is dying. So that is my haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this little video and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.